Hey everybody, you found in Tunis and welcome to another Super Smash Brothers showcase. In the last episode, we showcased Ness, and in this episode, we're gonna do the same with Captain Falcon. All right. Excuse me, I have to clear my throat. <clears throat> you can't excuse me anyway. I'm not actually talking to you. <clears throat> Ooh, Falcon Punch right off the bat. Now, Captain Falcon has one of the signature moves that Super Smash Bros. is known for. The Falcon Punch. It's a hard move to hit someone with, but when you do, it's very powerful, as I do quickly die off the bat in the first level here. Wow, that was embarrassing. Oh my god, Link. Link, you're supposed to die early. There you go. That's what I tried to do before, but messed up doing. That took longer than it should have, but whatever. The Falcon Punch is a hard move to hit someone with, but when you do, it does a ton of damage. That's what it's known for. There was once this story I heard on the internet before Brawl came out. The Brawl was known to the public that some kid hit some kid's uh, way, like... Some little kid, he was in like the 6th grade, heard that they were making a new Smash Bros. His friend whispered to him, whispered it to him when he was in the middle of class in school or something. And so he yelled out Falcon Punch. And he got in trouble with the teacher because, he he was meant, because the teacher thought he was mentally challenged or something. And his older brother was posting this on his Facebook or something. That's where I heard about it. It's one of those online pics. And so, like, he was asking, like, is it a funny situation? What should I do, you know? <laughs> He's like, what should I do about this? I don't think the kid's mentally challenged. I think he's awesome. He's yelling out Falcon Punch in the middle of class. I mean, you shouldn't be disruptive to teachers or something, but... You shouldn't be disruptive to teachers like that. You should be good to them. I mean, all they're trying to do is educate you. For a small fee, of course. But, um... But, um, it is... I see why they did do that, but... The kid, the kid getting in trouble, I understand that, but the kid, like, being, like, considered mentally challenged, that's not true at all. It's, like, we're insane for, like, a Nintendo, right? No. No, we're not. I'm not gonna escalate a situation out of nothing. I'm not gonna be, like, a junkie, or... Or that butthurt guy on the internet that just likes to argue with people. <laughs> I salute you, Captain Falcon. I've never actually played F Zero before. Is it a good game, or I mean, it's like a racing game or something, right? Something along the lines of that. Where's the last target? Oh, there it is. Good thing I didn't go the underway. I thought that's where it was for a minute. Oh, Captain Falcon is so awkwardly animated in this game. Like, what are those boobs on his chest plate before? I mean, I know they're not, but still, it's just an awkward design. Ow. Yeah, he's gonna die anyway, no reason to go out. Thank you, Link, for all your help. Ah! I, sh I wanted to get out of the way, but I didn't end up doing it because I'm stupid. Oh, 
want to hit you with the Falcon. Ah, Falcon Charmander, get out of here! Ooh. See, Pikachu should have been able to, to recover from that, like the characters in the other Smash Bros. games do from moves like that, but in this game, nah, when you hit him like that, they just fall straight down. It's ridiculous. Hey, I got him. In Brawl and Brawl only, you can actually, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, when you do the Falcon Punch in the middle of the move, you can turn around, so you can pretend to be Falcon Punching someone in a four-player match or three-player match, and then actually punch, and then actually punch, uh, the other person. Perfect. I get points for Meteor Smash, right? Nope. I guess I wasn't called the Meteor Smash yet. In the days of 1999. Captain Falcon's the fastest character in this game. They did that because he's from a racing game. It makes sense, you know? Alright, I'm just like checking where I'm supposed to go. Captain Falcon's board the platforms is a little scrambled. Okay, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm doing it right. Well, it only makes sense that the arrow up there is pointing right. Where else to go? Alright, I got this. Oh, man. Come on! Oh, damn it. I guess I was supposed to go from the top to the bottom, maybe? I saw no way of getting from the bottom to the top. I'm sure I've done it before in the past, but whatever. Past is past, I don't remember how. But sometimes, sometimes people do remember how, and that's how they get by, but... Not me, I guess. Ah! No! A man of Captain Falcon's muscle magnitude? It looks awkward for him to be beaten up by you little pipsqueaks. No offense. I'm good, not good, not taken. Alright, that's that's good. Ah! Uh shit man, that would have damn it! Bumper. <laughs> I bounced him off of nothing. Ooh, I'm Kirby. I'm gonna take your star rod that you love so much and hit you with it and kill you. Another nice salute there by Captain Falcon. And the winner is me! Yay! As I get, I'm like waving to Salmas as she leaves. It's like, hey! Sorry for killing you. They're knocking you out a little bit. 
I should be able to land a couple Falcon Punches on Metal Mario here. Alright, let's land the up B move on him. There we go. All the characters that were in this Smash Brothers game were also in every other one. Like, none of the characters in this game were ever taken out of the series. Not like Mewtwo from Melee, like, he wasn't in Brawl, and Roar wasn't in Brawl, and neither was Dr. Mario. Fun fact! Uh, Dr. Mario... Um, let me think. Dr. Mario, Dixie Kong... Who else? Uh, Toon, uh, Toon Zelda, and also Toon Sheik. Plus Little Minu and Mewtwo and Roy were all originally supposed all of them. They were all originally gonna be in Brawl, but they were cut sometime during the game's development. Which sucked. It would have been awesome to see all those characters again. Who knows, maybe in the next Smash Brothers they'll have all the characters back. And there were also uh, one more thing. There were also a bunch of characters that were supposed to be in this game. Like the original Super Smash Brothers that weren't. The only characters I remember that were going to be in this game were Bowser and Peach. There were other ones too. I don't remember who though. I think Pit. I think Pit was originally going to be in this game. Who else? Who else? It wasn't Wario. They weren't going to put Wario. In. I'm still surprised Wario wasn't in melee, you know. Who else? I'm trying to think. Like, there were characters that are in Smash Bros. now, but weren't. There are also gonna be uh, Final Smashes in this game. Can you imagine, uh, at the time, amazing, but now ghetto graphics that those would have had? Woo-wee! Those would have been awesome. But then again, it wouldn't make Final- it would make Final Smashes less special in Brawl. But see, we wouldn't even know that because Final Smashes would have been in every single Smash Bros. game from uh, from this one, and it would have been a regular thing for the series. That's time, man. The future can always be changed. It's like some. It's like it's a funny thing when children ask, like, how did those people in the 1800s ever survive without television? It's like they survived without television because at the time it didn't exist yet, and they didn't quote unquote need it yet. You know. Like I'm sure there are, I'm sure there's a ton of technology that doesn't exist yet that we're gonna need in the future, but we don't need now because it doesn't exist yet. You know? Like maybe that's why it's such a big decision for couples to have a baby or not. I don't know. Oh crap! Ah, see, that's what happens when I talk ramble. It, I die. That's what happens when I talk about ramble. Ooh, a falcon kick. Let's go Pokemon. Ooh, meow. Oh, that's what I remember! That I remember. Now, Meowth was originally going to be a playable character in this game, too. That's who it was. But instead, he was just a Pokeball. Or was... Damn. They, it, I learned this from Did You Know Gaming. They were talking about characters that were originally going to be in Brawl and ones that were going to be in this game. Those were two different photos. And I don't know if Meowth... I think it was this game that Meowth was originally going to be in. Or, or was it Brawl? I don't know. Just go to DidYouKnowGaming.com. You should be able to find something like this. But last time I checked... I actually checked before I started playing today. I, I couldn't find either of those photos. But I posted one on Facebook once. And so I went back on the post to find it. So I could learn. It was the one about Brawl instead of about this game. And I really want to find that other picture again. Maybe on the Did You Know Gaming Facebook page. I highly recommend checking Did You Know Gaming out. Go to DidYouKnowGaming.com. Check out their Facebook page, their YouTube channel. And they didn't pay me to advertise or anything. I have no affiliations with them. I just want you to check them out because those guys are pretty awesome. 
You can learn some pretty interesting stuff about video games. Ow. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you do. And I'll see you next time for the finale of this Let's Play. Peace out, everyone.